Who are some of the artists that inspire you in, yeah, as, as an artist? So starting out, um, you know, I was one of those kind of like underground nerds in the acapella community. So I was looking up to some of the early guys who paved the way for what we do. Uh, there's a group out there called Rockapella who's <laughs> nice. still going. And um, they're, they're probably like the first group to do this format of things like five guys, one full-time beatboxer, you know, acapella, a lot of o covers of popular stuff. Um, they sort of, as far as I'm concerned, created that, that format. Um, they were certainly the first group I heard doing it and it blew my mind. I was like, wow, I didn't even know that you could, that was a thing. Um, which was a big eye opener for me as a guy with a bass voice. It's like, oh, here's this like outlet I didn't even know about contemporary mm -hmm. bass singing. Um, so they like really inspired me back in the day and probably like set me on this path, uh, as well as some gospel vocal groups as well. There's a group actually called acapella. So that shows you how long they've been around. They were able to get tips <laughs> on that, that name. They got acapella.com. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, at that point it's probably acapella.net. So. Right. Right. <laughs> and, uh, so some of those groups are, are really like, well, you know how I cut my teeth and, and, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, like these days, one thing I love about country music is that it's not super like competitive. It's more collaborative. Um, yeah, that's you know, fascinating. The city of Nashville in general is like a really encouraging s city, you know, like we're all rooting for each other instead yeah, of like 100%. trying to get ahead of each other. You know, 100%. I lived out in, I lived out in LA for a while and like the vibe out there is so different, you know, you like meet someone and it's sort of like that right away. It's like, okay, what can you do for me? Oh, man. You know, whereas like here, it's a little bit more like, all right, what can we do for each other? You know, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm inspired man. by my country music peers all the time. Um, I'm a writer, so I am like, you know, super inspired by, by the, the good writers, especially anybody who's like really clever with lyrics and stuff like that. Who would you say today is very clever with lyrics? I'm curious. Jeffrey East. Okay. His, uh, uh, you know, I met him when he came on, on tour with us. He opened up for us out in Europe. Okay. And uh, we have since become super close. And I am every time I hear something new from that guy, I'm in, I'm inspired. What's your, so have you been interested in country for a while? Like, have you kind of grown up in country or, I mean, a lot of the references you actually made were not country, but. Okay. Yeah. So I grew up on country, loved it. It's in my blood, but then, you know, there's that period of time where, you know, it's like, well, that was my parents' music. So, <laughs> so once I discovered pop there was like a period of time where I thought I wanted nothing to do with country. And then I was like, it was like all pop music for a while. Um, and then I ended up like, you know, venturing back to my first love, which was, which was country music. But what was nice was along the way, like there had been like such a hybrid that happened between pop and country. I was just going to segue into that. I was going to ask you your opinion about that. Cause like, I feel like it was like folk country up until like, 10 years ago and now it's become like pop country yeah and not only that all of america loves country music now too so like yeah there's like people are crossing over back and forth um you know yeah that's it's and we travel all over the world you know it's like we go to we go to europe and like they love american country music over there it's, it's so like fascinating man thing it's so interesting um, but interestingly enough i oftentimes find myself writing kind of more of the classic country or at least like retro country like 80s and 90s kind of what okay. i on rather than the uh, super poppy stuff uh-huh yeah that's interesting